Hello there, my name is Daniel O'Kane. I work at MathSpace and this is a very quick demo on how you as a teacher can use MathSpace to teach mathematics to year seven students to help them learn as they come to your high school for the first time. Here I am in MathSpace and so I'm currently looking at year 11 essential maths. So when I'm here in the textbook section of MathSpace as a teacher, it's easy for me to click and then explore the library to find the Australian Year 7 curriculum. So I can see that's here, I'm gonna click. And so now I can preview all of those topics that you would typically teach at the Year 7 level that are mapped to the Australian curriculum. So this is all material that we at MathSpace have created ourselves. So we've done the scope and sequence of all of these topics that you would typically teach. So for a lot of schools, they like to start with whole numbers when they're teaching year sevens for the first time. So coming into this chapter, you might start your students on some revision from primary school, which is working with the four operations. Now, first of all, we have this lesson. Okay, so this acts much like the lesson that you would find in a typical textbook, except we've often got these Jalgebra applets here that you, know, you can share with students. So it helps them then grasp some of these key skills. You can share these lessons with students or students have the ability to find these lessons on their own. There are also these questions that you can assign students. So it's up to you, you could just set an adaptive task. So this is a task where the questions will be chosen for the students to complete by our adaptive algorithm. And the questions that the students get assigned, it just depends on how well they're doing through the task. So coming back to this list, the adaptive task would choose random questions from this list and the difficulty would start to increase as the students get those questions correct as you would typically expect from an adaptive task. Alternatively, I might prefer to choose the questions that I want my students to complete. I might wanna give them a very simple task like a warm up activity or an exit ticket. So I might just select some of the questions in this list to then create my own task, which is called a custom task in MathSpace. Keep in mind that not every year seven that comes into your year seven class is a maths expert. Sometimes they have some gaps based on perhaps misconceptions that they had while they were at primary school. So as a teacher, what you can do in math space is you're not limited to just year seven if you're year seven students. I could come here and I could look at grade three, four, five, or six. Maybe look at some basic place value work that perhaps I want my students to do first. And I can add these questions into the task as well. So I can really add questions from anywhere in MathSpace to create these custom tasks. You know, I can create a custom task, for example, that tests across multiple topics or multiple year levels. And so whenever I create a task in MathSpace, I can either set that to a particular year seven group, so all the students in my class, if I'm doing some explicit teaching, or I might wanna differentiate. I might want to give this work to a individual student only, or perhaps a small group of students. That way they can do the practice that they need to help build them up to where you want them to be in class as a year seven student. Similarly, this is a way that how you can advance students in your year seven class who might actually be ready to work on some year eight, year nine level material. You can create tasks just for them and not for the whole class group for them to work on individually as well. At MathSpace, we also believe that completing maths questions using pen and paper is equally important as compared to working online in a digital environment. So we also have worksheets for your year seven students. You can assign these to the students so that just on their computer, they can open this up or you can print this worksheet if you like, so that then you can instruct the students to answer some of these questions. Alternatively, you can download this worksheet as a PDF and you can print it for your students as well. That way you've got a real cost effective alternative to say a traditional textbook that might cost students anywhere from 70 to hundred dollars. MathSpace is a lot cheaper than that. So MathSpace is this core resource. So students can be using MathSpace to practice with pen and paper as well as online with the help of the hints and the videos and the lessons and the step-by-step -step feedback that students get when working in the MathSpace platform. Here is a three-step equation that you might give some of your students in year seven, particularly if they're mastering the one and two-step equation work, you might give them a challenge of a three-step equation. And so I just wanna quickly show you the benefit of having your students work in MathSpace so what they can do in MathSpace is they can actually enter their steps for feedback. They don't have to 
write in just the final answer. So by subtracting seven from both sides of this equation, I can see that this step is correct. I have flexibility as a student in terms of how I answer a question. I could expand the brackets. So have two W plus 10 equals 20. Alternatively, I could have divided both sides by two. So I could have W plus five equals 10. MathSpace is powerful in the sense that I can write any equivalent equation here and it will be graded as correct. So although adding one to both sides doesn't get me any closer to solving for W, I'm just demonstrating that equivalent equations are graded as correct as well. And if I ever get stuck as a student, I don't know what to do, I can always click the hint button, which will give me a hint based on my last correct step. So here I've got W plus five equals 10. So it's then giving me that clue and so if I ask for another hint, it will give me a bit more of a clue on how to answer this question. I've also got the online lesson. And so I can then come here and review the work to learn how it is to solve questions like this. And the great thing is, even if I'm setting year seven's lower work, like grade three, grade four level work, there's nothing here in the pop-up that actually says, what year level this work comes from. So even if I'm giving some of my year seven students some really basic grade three level fractions questions to complete in that space, they're not gonna know that they're working at a year level lower than year seven. Students in that space also have access to diagnostics and continuous assessment. So at the start of a school year, your year sevens would select that they're in year seven, and then they would start with a pretest or a diagnostic in number strand. These questions will now adapt to my ability. So for example, I know there are a few numbers between 70 and 80 that are divisible by three. As long as I write in the correct one, I'll get that right. And note that the student doesn't get feedback this time on whether the question was answered correctly or not. So if a student comes across a question in our diagnostics that they don't know how to answer, all they need to do is click skip question, and then they can move on to a question that they do know how to answer. These questions will adapt as I start to get these correct or incorrect. So if I am a year seven student and I'm getting most of my questions correct, it's going to keep me at that grade six, year seven level. If I'm getting all my questions correct, it might even test me on some year eight questions as well, but nothing higher than that. If you've got a year seven student that might be a couple of years behind where they're supposed to be, they'll be tested across those basic skills from grades three to six to determine where their gaps are and where their strengths are in those math skills from the Australian curriculum. At any point, a student can pause, quit, and then they can come back and pick up where they left off so they don't have to do all 30 of these questions at once. So it's just about the student being able to answer these questions correctly whenever they can and then skipping them if they don't know how to do it. So as the year goes on, the students can complete diagnostics in the other strands from the Australian curriculum as well. They can then view their report to see where their skill level is across you know, grades three to year seven when they're a year seven student. So I can see for this student, for example, they do have a weakness here when it comes to reading a timetable and that's a grade six level skill. There are no post tests. What the students do is they do weekly check-ins. So this acts as continuous assessment. So if I have been doing some work with my teacher in class, I can then answer the question correctly and then that way my diagnostic data will start to improve on that weekly basis every time I complete a check-in. If I see a question that I haven't seen yet in class or I haven't done some work here yet, or maybe I'm still learning and I'm not quite sure what to do, I can just skip the question and then work on a question that I do know how to do. So perhaps I've worked on some area lately in class, so now I'm going to submit this as a correct answer. Students can also pick a strand and go through the list of all these skills that they're required to be able to know at each of the year levels according to that strand from the Australian curriculum. And if I wanna do some work on a particular skill, perhaps I wanna progress here because I've been working on volume and capacity lately, I can click practice to do the relevant practice work in math space, or I can come and do a check-in. So then I'm only answering two questions to then test myself on whether I've been able to grasp this skill that perhaps I've been working on with my maths teacher. That's it from me. If you've got any questions as a year seven maths teacher thinking about using MathSpace with your students next year, please feel free to get in touch. You can come to our website, mathspace.com.au. You can shoot us an email or you can even book a demo with an EdTech consultant such as myself and we'd be more than happy to take you on a more detailed walkthrough and answer any questions you might have.
Thanks very much for watching. Take care.